is a free agent. And they want to celebrate the fact that they're a free agent. Let me tell you what happens when you're a free agent. Nobody gives a fuck about you. I'm not talking about the public. I'm talking about in the business. You want to go into a fight in a voluntary defence and not have a rematch clause. What are you playing at? Who's responsible for that? You know why? Because he ain't got a promoter. Or the promoter that was with him, who, by the way, they had a legal dispute about three years ago. Now he's working. Do you think when that decision was announced, how upset do you think Frank Warren was? I'll tell you what. I don't think he could give a monkeys. Why? Because there's no attachment. There's no, there's no relationship. There's no allegiance of loyalty to people. You need a team of people behind you. And to put James DeGale in that fight without a rematch clause is amateurish. And it, what it comes down to and what it shows is, is there really people looking out for you? And now with James DeGale, it all comes down to desire. Because if you don't have the desire in this sport, mate, you better get out quick or you're going to get hurt. This ain't a game of tennis where you can say, you know what, I'm past my best, but I can go and nick a few quid on the circuit. You lose your desire in this sport, you get out quickly before you get hurt in this sport. Especially when you're at elite level. And that wasn't even elite level, by the way. But if he has, doesn't have the desire, I don't, I'm not sure he'll fight again. Because I, I, I messaged him yesterday and I said, maybe this is what you need. Maybe you need a new challenge, a challenge to regain your belt. But if you're not in love with the sport, if you're cutting corners, if you're not living the life, it will catch up with you. And unless he has the desire to come back, he should leave the sport. Obviously, we saw some tweets from uh, Eubank Jr. and George Groves, which was yeah, kind standard. of expected. Yeah, I mean, listen, and he you can't, can't have it both ways. Yeah. You can't stick the knife in and not expect someone to stick it in you. Simple as that. So, if I give someone stick, I expect stick back. And the same with that. You know, of course, there are people who were delighted that James DeGale lost. I was not one of them. And I would like to see him come back. I, would, I think it's exciting to see him come and come back. But if he's not excited by it, then he should walk away from the sport. Where does it leave those kind of fights that he obviously spoke a lot about over the last sort of few Well, they're weeks. in a terrible position. Yeah. I think they're probably dead. But they're certainly dead in terms of how much he's going to get. I mean, you imagine the negotiations now. I mean, it would have been hard enough with him as world champion. Or Scroves or Eubank want to give him. 10%? 15%? As a voluntary challenger? Have the rematch. We could have woke up Monday morning... The Gal Truax is a big fight, the return. Now, this is why James probably won't fight again, because he's going to get an offer to have a comeback fight. He's going to look at it and go, are you joking? You want me to go and fight for that kind of money? So if it's about the money, if it's not about the desire, then that's, it's the end. But I hope that he wakes up, and I hope that he actually has the bit between his teeth. One sec. You need me? Oh. Before this fight, obviously, he made it very clear that he was working with uh, Frank for this fight. For one fight, again, but who yeah. cares? Like, that's what I'm saying. You think Warren is looking out for James Bigot? You think he, he don't care? He's thinking, I'm putting him on the show, looks good for me, looks good for BT. But he, Frank, Frank, Frank don't want to... Unless you're tied to Frank, really, he's not interested. So... Was that the same attitude to you as well? Certainly affects my mindset, yeah. If, well, you, you think if someone says, well, I've got one fight with Eddie, then I'll see what happens. I'm a free agent and I can work with anyone. What do you think I'm going to think? All right, James, yeah, great. I'm going to knock my cods out working for you, aren't I? S sitting up all hours making sure you're looked after. No. That's what I'm saying. Being a free agent in boxing is not even a clever thing. You've got to have a team of people behind you steering the ship, creating the strategies, making sure they maximise your money, making sure they look after you, making sure they dot the I's and cross the T's. And it's a shambles. It's been a shambles since he's won that world title. If he would have come back here, if he would have listened to us, he would have been a pay-per-view star in this country after the Durrell fight. And by the way, he ain't made a lot of money. He's talking about, oh yeah, I'm making the money. You think Groves and Eubank are making more money than him? Can you see yourself working with him in the future? I'd work with James DeGale again. I'd be quite excited to actually... But it's got, you know, it's not... <laughs> Loyalty is everything, you know? And, and the truth is, is that after the Durrell fight, they went and signed with Al Heyman. 
say without my consent, but it was never really, I didn't, you know, I wasn't part of those discussions. I promoted him for the next, what, two or three fights, but the relationship weren't really there. And I will always like James, I will always stick up for him. But, you know, we texted the other day, you know, he was talking about the text in your interview with him. And he sort of said, you know, I can't believe I'm not on Sky. And he says, you fucked up here, Ed. And I'm, I'm disappointed. And I said, well, maybe we're even then. Because he fucked up bad. But, if, again, if he's got the desire, he's a quality fighter. He's a good bloke and he's, he can be a star. But he's got to want to come back with the, the desire. So we'll see. He needs some time to get his head around the defeat. That's, you know, he'll be hurting right now. And so he should be. He's thrown it all away against a fight when who was what? He was a 200 to 1 on to win.